hey, here's one for RBG and uh, all the other people out there who want to stream with uh, music playing um, and using their mic, but they may also, for the sake of a, a speedrun's authenticity, they may want to record separately um, on the recording to have the microphone and the game audio without the music playing. And there's a way to do that. Um, so, what you see here in my music mixer, which is kind of a little bit hidden, you got desktop audio, which is where you'd expect to have the music coming out, you got your mic, and you've got, this is on the right, StarTech is my capture card, so you'd have the capture card with the game audio running, right? Uh, you can click any one of these gears, and uh, down at the bottom, because you can't see that, hold on. The heck, I forgot how to use the classic OBS edit scene, ah, okay. Can we ever, can we ever get it? There's got to be another way. Here we go. We go up to edit advanced audio properties. Great. Set that back to that. Great video so far. Um, so here we're in advanced audio properties. Again, it doesn't fit in the window, but um, so we have the same things here. We have the desktop, the mic, and, and my capture card. And over here on the right side, uh, we have tracks, right? So here's the setup that you would use if you wanted to stream uh, music and mic, and then you wanted to record mic and game. You'd set these, the, the multi-tracks here, set these to two, set these to one. Um, then you come in, you close this out, and you go to settings. And here we're in our settings, and you can go to output. And if you're in advanced output mode, you have separate tabs for streaming and recording. So here at streaming, uh, you can only stream out to uh, one track, so you pick track one. That's the one that's got your mic and your music on it, your desktop audio. And then um, so you go to your recording profile, and here you can uh, record as many tracks as you want. In fact, you could record your music playing and your mic at the same time as the game audio. And even if you did that, so let's say I've got one and two selected, all those things are going to be recorded, right? But they're still going to be recorded on different tracks. So uh, you could choose to just record without the music, or you could have it on. It doesn't matter, because later you can go on and you can... Um, make a video that has the tracks separated out. And I'm going to show you. Uh, so I'll go and close this out and leave it just like it is. Um, and go into the program Abby Demux. Make it fit so you can see it again. All right. Well, here I'm in Abby Demux. And uh, let's see if this video I had loaded had multiple tracks. It did. So BT's recording uh, his videos with multiple tracks, perhaps. I'm not really sure. I stole this from a stream. Um, nevertheless, oh, it's my video, actually. It's my video. So here it is. Here's my setup, and I've got tracks enabled. So uh, you would just click off that track in the audio configuration in Abby Demux. Boom, easy. Uh, and so when you just uh, recode the video in this program, which if you needed to do, I'd teach you how, um, you would just you would have that option available. Or you just have it so that uh, the recording only had the other track and you wouldn't even have to do this. Like you have a video, you could take that video, you could upload it to YouTube or Twitch upload or whatever, and uh, those will all be available. And it won't have the, the music, it'll be completely authentic, uh, be able to be verified. So that's it.